What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor Channel. I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY, and you know this man, Sherry Bomber for the win. I love mechanicals. These are my favorite right here. This is absolutely my favorite. I love the mechanicals. Uh, hey, well, welcome back today. Um, we are going to be doing a DIY grape e-juice. Uh, <clears throat> not hard to make, very quick. I like to pre-pour all my chemicals into these tinctures so that when I go to make everything, it is just easy as pie. Um, okay, so we've made some adjustments. Uh, it's been a work in progress with my studio. Uh, you can see the microphone right here in front of me uh, with the boom uh, mic arm, whatever. Uh, <laughs> So hopefully we've got everything and uh, and you see the cameras a lot better. Uh, so he helpful, uh, hopefully we got everything dialed in correctly. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it, man. And you know this. All right, I know I'm being a little corny today. I think my pain meds maybe. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, uh, I have everything right here uh, if you can see it from that camera I like to use the e juice me up calculator because you simply put in the numbers and you hit calculate and it will tell you how much of what you need to put in there um, we're gonna start with the and I like to backfill it, it um, the reason for this is if you put all this stuff with the nick and the flavoring and the sweetener first then all you have to do is is finish it off with the uh, VGPG oh well whichever you use I'm going to share with you that I like to use the 5050 because I like to both chuck clouds and I like to enjoy juicy flavor and I'm kind of that guy that even when I was in in uh, uh, culinary classes and when I worked in the kitchens I loved making sauces. I loved making gravies and and spaghetti. Just you know, Asian uh, inspired uh, flavors as well. I just love making those type of things. Uh, it was where I excelled at. So that's been a carryover trait for me here. I love DIY. I love to be able to uh, bring up my own riffs on recipes. By the way, in E Juice Me Up. They have some standard generic recipes that will get you started. Uh, but what you need to do from there is, because no two vapors are, are the same, is you need to make adjustments. And you'll find that it just it, it, it doesn't happen overnight, but as time goes on and you get more experience, you're going to find that you're going to make some really good flavors for yourself. What I'm doing today is I'm giving you a standardized version so you have an idea of how the breakdown is. All right, I told you I use VGPG. Uh, I also, and again, you can see the bottle here, but I like to pre-pour everything. Uh, this Nick is 24% uh, by volume. Uh, yeah, something like that. It's 24%. Um, we got that open. All right, and uh, the flavoring here is grape. It's a 10 milliliter bottle. And we have our sweetener right there. Time for an intermittent. You know this, man. Twenty-four percent by volume, huh? I think I might. It's twenty-four percent. It's either by concentrate, <laughs> concentrate, or volume. I can't remember. But the percentage is 24%. Uh, the rest is VGPG. And uh, I'll get undone, <clears throat> undumb later if I need to make any corrections, and I'll put it down there. Uh, sometimes I brain fart, and this is one of those times. Uh, having said that, I rebound nicely, don't I? Mm? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and build. All right. We're going to build our recipe. On the e-juice me up, it says on my nicotine levels that 
I need to have 6.25 okay let me start to grab the wrong bottle there by the way when you're touching these chemicals please put some gloves on I like the blue nitrile you can get them at Walmart uh, the reason I like the blue is because if there should be a cut or burn or anything uh, you can see that happening in that area uh, and uh, so you can get medical attention make no mistake um, if, if you overdose the nicotine, it is a poison. It's, it has certain benefits at low, uh, at low percentages. It really does, but it can also be a poison. Uh, so you need to be aware of that, okay? If you don't use nicotine, then what you'll do is adjust your VG, PG, whatever, that, wh whatever you like to use. You'll have, a, have to uh, adjust those if you don't use nicotine. So you'll have to adjust those so you can uh, uh, come up with the same results. And again, all you got to do is punch in the numbers with uh, eJuice Me Up. Or you can Google other calculators that work better for you. I've just been using this one and it's great. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do 6.25. All right. Oh, and you're seeing me do this with this dropper. Um, nicotine is really thick. And um, I went through a little bit of the different uh, juices, nicotine, VGPG. I wanted to know where the one mark was on the dropper. And so that way, sometimes you can't use a syringe because it's so thick. This way, I can get it out with the dropper and know where it's out. And you'll find that you'll get to do that too. All right. Two. Three. Four, five, six, and we're going to get that one to a point two five. So it's about uh, about a, a fourth of the way up. You can see we got that in there now. Go ahead and get that uh, grape going. Now with this, with the juices, the uh, they're a little thinner, so you can use the syringe. Uh, so go ahead and use your syringe. They're very cheap. You can get them on most uh, websites that deal with uh, vape juices and all that. Uh, you can uh, also pick those up from bestclearmizer.com, uh, and uh, that's where I get my stuff. We've uh, they, they've been serving me very well. So you can go to uh, bestclearmizer.com. You can get your coupon codes. They have hardware. They have all this stuff. Uh, they even have a book that's for $6. It, and it teaches a lot of different recipes and all that stuff. Just trying to get that up there. That's at 5 And we just need to get one more. Turn that around so I can make sure I went a little over. There we go. Put that in there. Put that aside. Okay. So, yeah, anyway, bestclearmizer.com. Oh, I like to use about, with the sweetener, I like to use about one drop for every 10 uh, milliliters. So, for this case, it'll go for three, all right? So, we got one, two, three, okay? Last thing we're going to do is I uh, told you that I keep, both the nicotine and VGPG already poured out simply because it makes it easier and I don't cross contaminate the whole bottle. Give me one quick second, please. I need to get my funnel. Since, since I have limited space, I keep some 
of my other stuff in my cabinet. Okay. Now I can use the funnel and rock and roll this thing. You see how much easier it is when you put the VG PG in last because you're simply just filling up the remainder of the bottle. You already had everything else uh, done. I'm going to Okay, put that aside so it can get washed. My bad, my bad. I got to get used to this microphone here in front of my face. See, I like to put everything on here so this surface is always clean, sanitized. It's not on my computer desk. Um, as you can see now, that bottle is pretty much up to the top. I hope you can see it there, that tincture. And that's all you have to do is you put the VG, PG, whichever, or both, uh, and that fills up the remainder of the bottle. It's an easier way to do it. And, uh, you know, that's how I learned. It's an easier way to, to do it. Um, but it's always best to use a calculator. Uh, take these gloves off, finally. Um, and then a little bit later here, I'm going to refill my VGPG and my nicotine, and uh, I'll redo that so that so that uh, I'm not pouring out of these bottles and risk losing uh, my my product. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go out the same way we came in. By the way, you guys. Um, Please, 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 my information is down below. Dang it, I keep doing it. I keep hitting that. My information is down below. I love, uh, I love feedback. If you have anything you'd like to add uh, or suggestions, always open uh, to, to feedback. Um, and I appreciate you stopping by to watch. Please leave your comments uh, down below. Uh, if, if you come over here to thejuicyvapor.com, it has links to all my other social media. So my Facebook, my Twitter, um, you know, and uh, again, in my YouTube, I'd really like your feedback uh, as if there's anything that we can do to enhance. Maybe you have a recipe that you want to see trying out. Please, by all means, um, we'll leave it on that, huh? I think I can do one more, huh? As always, later Juicy Vapors.